Tanzania's National Electoral Commission has begun counting votes of the just concluded and hotly contested presidential election. There are over 22 million registered voters and officials say the turnout was huge. However, opposition candidate Tundulisu of the Chadema party alleged widespread irregularities and called for mass protests. Tanzanians voted on Wednesday in an election overshadowed by opposition complaints of irregularities such as ballot box stuffing as President John Magufuli, who is accused of stifling democracy, seeks a second term in office. Some 29 million people had registered to vote in the elections for a president in mainland Tanzania and Zanzibar, as well as for lawmakers and local councillors. Tallying is underway and results are expected next week. Meanwhile, major independent observers such as the European Union were not invited or bad, unlike in previous elections. In a Twitter post on Wednesday, top opposition candidate Tundu Lisu of the Chadema party alleged widespread irregularities as voting got underway. Having survived an assassination attempt in 2017, Lisu returned from exile this year to challenge Magufuli. The 52-year-old has urged supporters to stage protest on the streets if election results are announced on Thursday without ballots being counted properly. The other major opposition party, ACT, was a lender which reported deadly violence ahead of the vote, said its polling agents witnessed ballot box snatching by security agents, ballot box stuffing and voters turned away by authorities who said ballots had run out. That we have uh, discovered in uh, different uh, polling stations, we have seen these ballot papers and we have uh, caught some people with these papers. One person has been given a lot of papers like this. Our agents are kicked out from the, from the polling station without any uh, uh, genuine reason. The Electoral Commission, in a statement after polls closed, said that allegations of irregularities circulating on social media were not true. The commission had not received any formal notification of alleged fraud. Results declared by the Electoral Commission cannot be challenged in court, bringing urgency to vote monitoring efforts, but the opposition said observers were turned away from scores of polling stations on Wednesday. The president, who is expected to win a second term, is also accused of downplaying the coronavirus pandemic, declaring it defeated through prayer.